Okay, so here we are in Montreal. I can't believe it. We are at Miam, at the Festival Castellier, grand unveiling event of Marionette in Vitrine. And this is the home site, the beginning of the tour of 30 different venues around the city in Outremont of Montreal. Peter and Elka, Peter's paintbrush and peel, photographs of how to make paper mache and um, some of the mock-up and then the final pieces and some great photos of the print shop. Peter and I dancing as Santa number one and Santa number two. And then a lot of information about the festival, the map of all of the vitrines, all of the, um, of the venues around the city and um, the introduction of Bread and Puppet and the festival. So it's really exciting to be here. And of course, nighttime is the best time to see all of these beautiful vitrines. And thanks to Jerome Lapani, he and I are gonna make a tour of this amazing event. The largest exposition of Bread and Puppet Theater in the history of Bread and Puppet. We have over 570 objects from the theater and we're going to just head off on our way. So, this is a beautiful vitrine here. This is the Sacred Harp um, book, all of our songs, a collection of the band music, some photographs of Peter, of course, playing the dumbled trumpets. And here he's opening this beautiful gift that was given to him. It was a, a fiddle from India. He played in um, the 60s and played quite seriously. Um, he gifted it for this exhibition and down here, this is the bread making vitrine. There's a bread cutting board and Peter's bread, um, the hat and garlic and aioli, photographs of him serving the bread and making the bread back from, oui. let's see, the 70s and then probably just within the last two years. So this is just a beautiful exhibition of Peter's baking vitrine. Here's Peter on stilts, probably near his 80th birthday, as I recognize. Some instruments, Elka's recorder, and a homemade violin from an olive oil container. And this is a uh, a hat from uh, Peter Stilting uh, top hat. There's a ratchet that Peter Hamburger made and um, a crazy horn. Down here is more of um, the aioli making. Bread and parsley, aioli and salt. Here's a raising mold for rising the bread with rye and salt and um, an apron and a tray for serving the bread, and then some great pictures um, over the years. This is the one where Peter said he thought he looked like he was massacring something, but really we're serving bread. Obviously, this is some selections from the print shop, that there's some, a fair amount of cheap art, the cheap art manifesto down here. This is the sitting god, the god of the day from the funeral for Rotten Idea and um, classic bread woodcut and some earlier woodcuts. And down below, uh, Rehearsing with the Gods, a very beautiful book by a Montreal photographer, Ron Simon and our uh, amazing Mark Estrin, Rehearsing with the Gods book. And um, here we have a courage relief. This was, I think, a decoration for the globe puppets that we had. And here's a little cart again with a relief puppet. So these are the windows at Miam. This is a very beautiful structure. This building was built in the 1800s and it was a horse stable for the fire station. So each of these arched windows, which were once um, horse stable uh, stalls, are now sort of modern vitrines that we have this beautiful exhibition up here is the cheap art exhibition. 
This is an early work Peter said he painted. It says $4 at the top, and it's the world. Genevieve said it was the flat cardboard world. These two pieces are by Dale Whitting, early cheap artist and um, really monumental uh, artist still to this day. Um, and then to the left is Max Schumann series from the early days, he said, from the 80s of cheap art. Um, down here is an insurrection landscape cheap art piece. And back here, some figurines and up to the side that Peter painted for a uh, show. Down here is a, a piece of Selastic, the praying hands. And um, so that would be from the period of Goddard College. And then a, a selection of all of the Bread and Puppet Press postcards throughout the years. So these are just beautiful vitrines that were installed by Pavla Mano and she has been creating and installing uh, artists' work as part of the Festival Castillet for many years. She and I collaborated on this um, uh, curation and we worked a lot virtually as there were times when I couldn't cross the border and she has just done a beautiful job, beautiful work. So this is one of Peter's pillowcases created just for this exhibition. These are, I call them pillowcase pirouettes. They're painted pillowcases. And um, We Over Me is one that was created in January of this year, January 2022. And we are at Miam and it's just an amazing night and we're about to tour the rest of the exhibition. Marionette in Vitrine, Festival Castellier. The circus and the crown. Potato puppets, the tree puppet, mitigation bed sheet, the new circus flag, the articulated puppets. Okay, so here we are in Outremont at Library on the Square, the bookstore on the square. And um, this is the Devil and the Priest puppet with the praying hands. The opposite side of this puppet is the Red Devil shining into the bookstore. And this is from the show in 1977, Mont Manielo. And um, Genevieve identified this puppet for us. It's made of celastic. from the storage bins of former performances and future performances. <laughs> Ripped out of context and deprived of that context's meaning. or discarded bedsheet meaning. In other words, the art objects 
meaning and meaninglessness as typical for art objects. exactly the amount of fury that the moment asked for and therefore cannot be downgraded to serve the purposes of embellishment industry, but instead they'll stay angrily true to their origin, which is either clay dug from the nearby river shaped into clay language by wanting hands, covered with cornstarch glued paper, retrieved from the wrapping industry's favorite toss out the cardboard box, the cardboard box. Discarded, bedsheet, painted or disfigured with the help of latex house paint from the latex local paint sale or leftover. <laughs> Finish.
Interrupt.